the next presentations. Uh, and the next one is Vincent. Yeah. And we just got the presentation, so give us just 30 seconds. <laughs> that Sebastian is really quick. Much quicker than me. Okay. It's my computer. <laughs> Even in my, with my computer, this is, which is in Czech. <laughs> so you can admire Sebastian that he's able to do it in my computer. Because the Czech language isn't really what he... <laughs> <laughs> simple method. We take uh, the, the member count of the local group uh, from 1986 onwards and uh, we take uh, the maximum count of it and then when it's between the well, when it's between <laughs> our numbers, it's the percentages. Um, the first one, uh, when you look at the group, uh, this is how many uh, boys, girls, youth members are in a group from 1987 to 2013. Next uh, picture. <laughs> ah, <no. laughs> um, and um, we started to look at uh, the uh, organization, how many, how many cups are going, coming into uh, the, the cup group from uh, the beavers, how many are going to the scouts, how many are coming in from an external source, and how many are going out. Okay? Um, and we have to make sure the quality of our staff is correct. Uh, can I have the... Yes. So, um, we say, well, um, we've got uh, members uh, of our staff. How long are they uh, a staff member already? So, um, yeah, at the Welpe, um, the most of the staff is one year. Um, how many um, qualifications do we have? Are they a qualified leader or are they just being a leader but don't have the uh, qualifications for it? Okay, next question. <laughs> and we can also do that um, for a specific um, uh, how do you call it? Um, subgroup, so the, the smallest part of the, the group. Okay, um, but then you want to know, okay, I know um, my staff is okay and I, uh, I know uh, I, uh, I, how I have to grow, but how do I target the right people uh, to grow? Because when you look at this picture, only two girls are having a scout uniform on and the rest is hasn't. So when I um, do a, an advertisement campaign, I want to target those two girls because I know they want to become a scout and the rest of the group, they don't, uh, are the right kind of people. So in uh, the Netherlands there's a special um, uh, company and it's called Experian. And Experian it's also in the UK and, uh, and other couple of other countries, they profile uh, uh, families and they just know, okay, at that address, uh, that kind of family lives. Um, one type of uh, family uh, that's important for our scouts, um, they travel a lot. Uh, they go out on day trips, uh, they like to party, uh, they have internet, 
They like football and sports, and they live in a house like that. They have a mom and dad and two kids. Okay? These are all the household types that are in Mozi. <coughs> so everybody that's in there, um, uh, yeah, is um, a potential, is a, a kind of um, household. Can you do the next one? When we lay over our membership data, we see that when uh, we look at the rural members, they live in the grey area. So we know these household types, we have to target if we want to, to find new members for rural members in 4 to 11 years. Next. <coughs> we can do that for 12 to 18 years for rural areas. Next. Yes. Yeah. We can do that for city members in 4 to 11 and 12 to 18 years also. So we know these household types that are in this group are, yeah, are target groups. So when we do an advertisement campaign, we want to target those groups and the rest is not interesting because the return on investment is too slow for it. So, well, hmm? yeah. so when we look at it, um, only highly educated people are uh, in Skype movement in the Netherlands. Uh, they are um, yeah, sometimes in social class A and B1. That's not too much and the rest of have to be the past data. Um, we can map those types on a city. And um, we know where families live. Um, uh, and a map like this can show, okay, the green areas are the households where our target groups live. And we also know that our members uh, only uh, come to our group when it's a maximum of 10 minutes of drive. And uh, they don't come across a bridge or a river or something like that. So that explains uh, dots on the map where there's a big potential, but there's no group or something. When you look at this chart, the blue dots are the uh, scout groups. Um, the red dots are uh, uh, already scouts, and the green dots are potential new members. So we know in this little area, there's a pretty big, uh, yeah, okay, it's going to cost. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the future, um, we want to make sure all these maps are available for our local groups, so they can use those maps and see where do I have to target my people. Okay, questions? <laughs> it was very short, so if you have any questions or want the correct explanation for some sheets, just come. How did you... Um how did you come to the point where you have a kind of profile of the typical family that might engage in social media? Okay. What is the process? Um, well, we used the, the company experience. Experience that made uh, as the household types. So they know uh, the one I had there, it was the F21, I believe. That's uh, a family with two kids. And, um, and we have in our membership data, we have the addresses. And per address we know what kind of family lives there. So we know what type they belong to. Okay. Um, so it was a simple match. We, we know what kind of people we have, we know where they live. So we can see what kind of so you can type they are. So you can have a profile of the yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. For me it's, uh, it's a marketing approach. Yeah. And uh, I know that in all organization is no way to think like that. <laughs> um, because of uh, the diversity and uh, just to say uh, our organization is just for that kind of people. But I, I understand the marketing approach to, um, to uh, construct a campaign, build a campaign. It's okay for me, because <laughs> if you want to uh, uh, look at people in, in your area, I get to know them. Yeah, exactly. But I ask me uh, for the <coughs> strategy development of your movement in general, for such approach. Okay, um, yeah, I'm going to answer the question. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we are, uh, what I said in the beginning, we want to grow. So the main objective for the whole organization is to grow. Um, 
when you want to grow, you want to do it as uh, good as possible, as cheap as possible, and as fast as possible. So your return on investment has to be as big as possible. So when you do an advertisement campaign, you want to make sure you target the most people. You can target those, uh, sure, there are the households that are outside of the target groups. And now we are on target again. Yeah, okay. But we know we get more people if we target the correct groups. So that's why we chose to do it this way. Yeah. In my organization, the main problem is to become leaders. We have a lot of children, a lot of young people mm -hmm. who want to become a member, but we have two less leaders for them to have more members. But they don't want to become just a member, they want to take part in the group. Can I uh, stop you right now? And can I ask you to solve this later on? Because <laughs> That's the, let's say that's the end of the discussion and we have just a few time to continue. Thank you very much to Vincent. I hope you're going to have a great And I'd like to ask Christos, Christos, who has his own computer. Okay. And that's the last presentation before that. <laughs> So before we start, just I'll tell you a few things about lunch. So who wants to know something about lunch? Okay, this part. Uh, the lunch is going to be served over there in the coffee room because it's only our stuff, what we have for lunch. For dinner we have a hot meal downstairs in the restaurant. Just like right now we decided to have something uh, like a typical Czech cheeses and hands or whatever. We've already tasted yesterday a few of them, so there will be a little more than yesterday. And uh, if you are hungry or if you need anything more, just tell me and I'll try to figure it out. Okay. Thank so, you. thanks. Okay. I would like to talk about what is life at the Austrian Scouts now. It's not exactly a picture culture because uh, why you will see after. Uh, the situation until 2014 war, uh, was we had uh, extremely old systems. Um, physically at our office, um, it was down once per month, we just couldn't manage it anymore. And our team uh, in 2014 didn't have any experience in configuring or managing exchange. Uh, so the goals for our transition to a new system were higher availability, up-to-date software, and uh, this kind of implies uh, to go the outsourcing way, which also then uh, brings less maintenance. And we also wanted to move the local file shells into the cloud so that everyone could use them without using YPN or something like that. So the solution uh, is to use hosted mail and SharePoint services on Office 365. The SharePoint was already in use, it was heavily used, and we really couldn't do without it and to manage everything uh, through the Active Directory um, that was kind of already in place but we had also to move to a new system. And Office 365 is free now uh, for unlimited users, for NGOs. So that brings us 50 gig mail per user. SharePoint, you can uh, calculate, calculate that yourself. And also OneDrive, space of one terabyte per user but we are not using it because that's just a personal space we can't share with other people. The implementation is now, uh, we manage um, all the users in our local active directory because otherwise there would be no domain logins possible. Um, we are currently evaluating if we could just drop the local domain and only move to Asia. Um, then we are syncing everything to Office 365. There are different solutions now, uh, one with a shorter name, the old one, and now one with a very, very long name. And we also sync the password hashes in order to, uh, not, uh, to, to not be dependent on our local infrastructure, because, yeah, it's down sometimes. And we also need a local exchange instance for managing all the, the real stuff, sadly. That's not possible otherwise. So the services we are using now are Exchange and Outlook Mail, uh, SharePoint for the online collaboration, 
there's also online word Excel and PowerPoint where you can uh, edit collaboratively like in Google Drive. That's really nice because you have real web documents there. And you can also use Link, that's like Skype for for your companies, and Yammer, um, that's yeah, like Facebook, a social network for us. Uh, upsides, we didn't have a single downtime until now, in the one year we are using it. Um, it's easy for the users to install because there's a way for each device to use it. There's also a new app for iOS now. Uh, it's got integrated spam virus protection, so we don't have to care about that. And also it's now free of charge. There are also some downsides to it. We said we have four admin interfaces now. We are looking how to move to a single interface uh, with PowerShell, also that's not too easy sadly. So the whole management is complicated and also some services are not working as advertised. So Yammer has got its completely own user base, so we are not using it uh, now. And also there are some major bugs in SharePoint, you can't create new sites and most of the things are not working in Internet Explorer, you have to use Firefox. <laughs> very, very strange. Crazy. <laughs> so what's next? We want to use a self-service portal that's in connection to our score, the scout registration system, uh, which is independent from the national level, as it's only a private initiative. But uh, we would like to use that to automate group management and user creation and everything. So we don't have to create or use anymore. And the goal is that every member should have access to our services in the future. And there's a SharePoint site for every Scout group to collaborate. So they can use all the services. Or if they are a CUPS leader, they have access to all the CUPS resources on there. We've also made a commercial together with Microsoft. Uh, it's not been aired on TV. Uh, somewhere, but uh, it's posted on their YouTube channel and they are using it to advertise scouting and we are using it um, to advertise what we are doing. I want to show that now. It's only three minutes long. I put subtitles in it.
wenn ich so an meine Aufwachstzeit des Baus eine Leiterin zurückdenke, da haben wir schon wieder oft mit den Kindern im Telefon gespielt. Heutzutage haben die Kinder und Jugendlichen x Möglichkeiten miteinander zu kommunizieren. Die haben WhatsApp, die haben Facebook, der eine hat das, der andere hat jenes. Es ist teilweise schwer, sich einzufangen und es ist teilweise auch für mich schwer, ihnen zu sagen, du musst das jetzt verwenden, weil sonst kriegst du die Informationen nicht, weil die Dinge ab und zu sind sicher sind. Die GMA haben jetzt die Möglichkeit, alle Partner in Österreich, die Kinder, die Jugendlichen, die Jugendleiter und die Eltern auf eine Plattform zu bringen, die über Fotos reinstellen, die Informationen reinstellen. Für mich ist das die Zukunft unserer Vernetzung und vor allem, es kostet uns nichts, weil als Non-Profit-Organisation sind wir immer ein bisschen knapp der Kasse. Auf der einen Seite setzen wir sehr stark auf Technologie. Auf der anderen Seite fühlen wir nur verbundenes Leben und wollen das für die Jugendlichen aufrechterhalten. Unsere Kinder verwenden selbstverständlich Technologie. Viele Kinder haben Smartphones mit, aber wenn sie ein Smartphone benutzen wollen, müssen sie zum Beispiel den Strom selbst erzeugen, indem sie auf ein Fahrrad ihr Handy aufladen können. Planning and, and testing is needed before you can roll out something like this. Uh, it works quite well, but there are still many things to do on Microsoft side, mostly, and also on our side. But it's a very nice tool you can use uh, in your organization. And if you've got questions how to implement this, you can ask me afterwards because I think I'm not the largest way. So, thanks a lot. This was the first Pecha Kucha. Please don't be inspired by, by this last Pecha Kucha because that wasn't Pecha Kucha. <laughs> and, uh, so, if you have anything like a video, uh, you can also share it in a different way. So you can